to walk in someone else's shoes. Um, and who amongst us, as he said, would be content with those who counsel patience and delay if they were living under the oppressive uh, kind of very violent circumstances that so many people who are minorities in this country live with on a daily basis? Well, when we at the Steve Fund um, look at the future, um, we see telehealth as being a, a critical part of it. And while um, COVID-19 has been you know, just a horrible crisis for our nation, um, some of the lemonade, if you want to call it that, has been uh, a surge of use of, of telehealth and making mental health services in particular uh, much more accessible to people who had all sorts of barriers before or may have felt uncomfortable walking into a building that said psychiatric center or a community mental health clinic. And so that's really put mental health uh, in people's hands right at their fingertips. Uh, and so that's, that's a really, uh, really good thing. And that's one of the many recommendations uh, in the Steve Fund's Crisis Response Task Force uh, that was de developed by um, a group of cross-sectoral leaders um, from higher education, uh, mental health professionals, and those uh, from the uh, corporate and nonprofit sectors. Um, and you know, that community, which in addition to being cross-sectoral, was also uh, cross-racial and cross-cultural, um, is coming together uh, to establish a community of action, uh, which requires the um, active engagement of, of all stakeholders, of all of those backgrounds, uh, working together and developing cutting edge initiatives that uh, support mental health and well-being of young people of color. This requires people to come out of the silos. We're often siloed and separate uh, in you know, where we're based and how we think. Uh, and that this means that um, both within and outside uh, institutions and organizations, they need to come together to address some of the social determinants of health, which often align um, with um, the experiences of people of color in terms of experience some of the adverse uh, impacts of the social determinants of health, such as racial injustice, uh, and also to focus on some of those cultural considerations that relate to the realities of young people of color. I think creating environments where uh, trust is, is really put at the top, uh, where you're creating a welcoming and engaging environments so that people feel like they belong, regardless of their racial background, their ability, et cetera. Um, this is you know, what's going to need to happen. And I think that given some of the continued disproportionate economic impacts of the pandemic on young people of color, that organizations like the Steve Fund and, and those of my colleagues on this panel um, are ready to lead by forming, forging innovative solutions uh, to support the mental health, well-being, uh, of uh, young people uh, across the board, measure the impact, disseminate the findings, and, and continuously improve. I think that's what it's going to take um, to um, you know, move those levers and, and make the kind of change uh, that we want to see in terms of equality and equity.